Race fans, welcome to another edition of Race Face Drive in 5. My name is Jacob Seelman and joined by another Jacob, Jacob Clayton, who is coming to us for his first drive in 5 of the season with a lot of cool new things that you've gotten to do, Jacob, and we'll get to that in just a moment, but I want to start by giving you a chance to kind of talk about what you've been doing the last couple years, you know, give fans a little bit of an insight to what you've been racing before before this point yeah so before this before racing pro trucks i had been racing quarter midgets with the nascar youth series and uh last year i've been running it for about three i ran the nascar youth series for two years this will be my third year of racing now and uh i ran the nascar youth series last year full the full national tour last year and finished eighth in points Top 10 against as many drivers as you guys ran against is a really, really big deal. I know. What was you, uh, uh, as far as the youth series events, what was your favorite, uh, favorite track or favorite facility that you got to race at? Definitely the uh, Indy at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. There's the race called the Brickyard every year. Mm -hmm. It's the biggest race, the biggest quarter midget race of the year. Every year, there's about five, 600 cars there every year. And we go hard at it for like three or four days. That's one of those where I'm sure the first time you walked in there, you're like, oh, this is way different than it looks on TV, huh? Yeah, way different. It's really cool to get to see all the infield experiences. All right. So you referenced it, too. And we'll get to pro trucks in just a minute. Real quick, though, I mean. It was a little bit of a longer off season for you. Did you guys get to do anything fun over the winter? Was it spent mainly kind of prepping for the pro truck pro truck debut? You know, what what all fun stuff did you get to do? I actually, on top of practicing for the pro truck, I also raced the little five hundred at New Smyrna Speedway, which is just a it's the infield track at New Smyrna Speedway at the late model track. Mm -hmm. It's the infield track. And the quarter midgets race there every year. It's an annual race they have there. How'd you do in that? I was actually running second in that race until I uh, popped a motor mm. and ended our day pretty quickly. You know what? Gremlins happen sometimes, but I know from, from everybody that talked about that event, uh, they knew you were there. And sometimes that's, you know, the most important thing rather than just the results on paper, huh? Yeah, I would agree with that. All right. Pro Trucks, you've gotten a chance to race a Pro Truck this year. You've actually done two races already for Grant and John Thompson. And I know before the actual racing started for you a couple weeks ago, there was a lot of testing over the winter. I mean, talk a little bit about your preparation and everything that you had to do to feel comfortable going into your first race day a few weeks ago. Yeah, so we did a total of about four practices. We did about three at Mobile International Speedway, and we did one at Pensacola at Five Flag Speedway. And uh, overall, I think, I think we just were the whole time just practicing like scenarios, like mm -hmm. just getting used to being on the track, getting used to that race procedure and everything, working the pits and all that, getting used to clutching and shifting and braking and working with two feet instead of one. What was it like? I know you got a chance to practice a little bit with Grant in a second truck before you went racing. What was it like? Because in quarter midgets, you don't really feel the air off another vehicle. What was that like having that experience for the first time? Yeah, me and Grant went through a lot of scenarios together. We went through heat race and qualifying and race procedure and everything. And it's a lot different than in the quarter midgets where you can feel that person taking air off your car. So your first your first race was a couple of weeks ago, and I know there was a lot that went into that at Mobile and turned out really, really good. I don't think anybody would have expected you to land on the pole after the invert, but you know, talk a little bit about that race. Were there any nerves starting on the pole at all, or was it a case where, okay, I can see out the windshield, let's have some fun? Yeah, so... That night we qualified fourth fastest and after the dice roll, we ended up on the pole for that race. So our only main priority was to get out and go and try and lead this thing. So 
we actually had a pretty good start. We got out into the lead and settled in for the first two laps. But then I uh, drove it in a little too hard, let the second place truck get into my inside and got shuffled back to sixth. And for the rest of the race, I was just trying to work my way around everybody and made my way up to fourth, which isn't too bad for my first, ra first race. I qualified fourth, finished fourth. What was traffic like in the pro truck? I mean, I imagine it felt a lot different than when you're trying to pass cars in the quarter midget. Yeah, in the quarter midget, it's more of just you're setting somebody up the whole time. And in the pro truck, you're trying to, you're trying to not only set them up, but you're trying to make them think something different. You're trying to run your same line at the time. And you got to be consistent because if you're not consistent with it, you're just going to lose it. You did well with that, came back for race two last weekend, and if race one was good, race two was even better. Ended up runner-up. Talk me through that night. I know it was a huge confidence booster for you just being able to run with Trace Capers, Stephen Davis. I mean, those guys have got so many laps between Mobile and Pensacola and Pro Trucks. Yeah, we... uh got out of the trailer that night and went second quick in practice. And then we went second quick in qualifying, which was really good for only my second time qualifying. We, uh, after the dice roll, we ended up still outside pole, which is really good. So me and me and the 21 truck went after it. I got a really good start and, uh, led the first like 10 laps, but a uh, caution ended up coming out after Steven Davis cut down a tire and uh, we had another restart where I start where I didn't get too good of a start and I let Trace Capers get around the outside of me. And uh, with about five laps to go, we uh, had another caution come out for someone stopping on the track. And didn't didn't because I was on the outside, so I'm not real good at the outside yet. I need to work on that a lot, but I didn't get too good of a start there and got shuffled back to third in line. We were having a five-lap shootout. Me and Steven Davis were really working that truck, trying to get, trying, he was trying not to get passed by me, and I was trying to pass him. And uh, on the last lap, we ended up, I ended up sending it in there, and he held me tight, and we ended up making contact, but I uh, kept it straight, came home second. So not too bad for my second race, second race, second place. How's your confidence right now two races in? Do you feel like you're getting more and more comfortable around other trucks when you're behind the wheel? I feel I feel pretty comfortable with passing. I'm not too comfortable with the outside right now. I'm comfortable with driving the truck. I have really good single car speed, I would say. But uh, I still need to get used to driving around trucks on the outside. Got two races in. Your next race is actually this weekend at Five Flags in Pensacola. I know you did one test there. What was your experience like in Pensacola compared to how you've been driving the truck at Mobile? Well, at Pensacola, it's more of like a, it's a little more banked throughout just the whole track in general. And it's more of you're in one constant turn from trying to straighten up at Mobile with the really long straightaways. Mm-hmm. Mobile, I would say, is faster on the straightaways, but overall, Pensacola's faster. It's and, it's one of those special places, too, isn't it? Just from, from knowing when you walk in there that, you know, the late model stars that have run there, the snowball derby winners that have run there. Not that Mobile isn't a cool racetrack, but just so much history at, at Five Flags. Yeah, there's just like a aura there when you walk in that there's so much stuff that's happened there. So much history, so many great racers have raced there. Well, Jacob, I know you're excited to race there this weekend. We're excited to see what happens for you. Before we finish this drive in five up, I want to give you some time to say thank you to the people and the supporters that help make it possible. Give a shout out to your sponsors and anybody that you need to thank for getting you to the racetrack every week. Yeah, I would like to thank American National Insurance with Cindy Martin. Grant Thompson Racing, obviously, Roger Dad's Performance, First Choice Painting, Swift Springs, and a whole bunch of everybody else that helps out with me, including Jack Ars Reynolds.
been a lot of fun to watch. So Pro Trucks start number three this weekend at Five Flags. Jacob, best of luck to you. We appreciate you taking some time here on Drive In Five, and we'll look forward to doing it again next month and hopefully, you know, hopefully having some more great finishes to talk about. Thank you. That's Jacob Clayton. My name is Jacob Seelman, and this has been Race Face Drive in 5. We'll see you next time here on Race Face TV.